Hey friends, Casey Ashmore coming to you from the studio. We're gonna to touch base real quickly about your estate plan and really why you need to think about digitally storing it. So there's been, you know, this has been a hard year. 2020 has been a very hard year. Things were looking good, strongest economy in the world, right? We're rolling into March and then boom, shelter in place. You watch CNN, MSNBC, doesn't matter what you watch, you at this point likely know somebody who has been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. They got it, they recovered from it, they didn't, or they were laid off because of it, right? Somebody in your inner circle has been touched by this pandemic. And it's just a good reminder to make sure you have an estate plan, to make sure that on the day your family needs you the most, there's a roadmap for what to do because you're not there, right? You may not be there. And then the other thing, you know, if you've got one, how long ago? Did you get it when you were in the military? Did you get it when you got out of the FBI? Has it been 18 years since you dusted it off? Who are the beneficiaries in your life insurance? You know, are those your ex-spouses? Right? Are those your grown children and now maybe you have new children that you need to make beneficiaries? Make sure you do an update, right? Make sure you do an update to your playbook, the playbook that your family is going to be looking for on the day you're not there when they need you the most. And if you don't have a playbook, here's two things I'd encourage you to do. Put all of these important documents, your estate plan, your life insurance policies, your, your, des your, your beneficiary designations, Put them all in one playbook, right? Put your playbook together, put it somewhere it's easy to find and make sure there's a digital copy of it that is on the internet, in cyberspace. You know, don't just put it in a Google document out there in the world. Put it behind some firewalls, put it behind some passwords, email it to somebody you trust, but make sure there's a digital copy. You know, here's a good one, right? Email it to the executor of the estate. Make sure they have it in their email inbox and they can save it to a subfolder. Generally, there's not a lot of information in these estate plans that can be used for you know, cyber heisting identities. If there are, take additional, take additional steps, right? But having a scanned copy of your estate plan, your designation of beneficiaries, having a scanned copy of your playbook and a paper copy of your playbook where they can be easily found on the day that it's gonna be the worst hard day it's the day your family needs you the most. You're not there. Make the playbook easy for them to find. Keep a digital copy. If you haven't looked at it in a long time, update it. Make sure there's a paper copy that's been looked at, that's been updated, and it's easy for them to find. Safety deposit box, maybe not so much. Depends on who's got a key to it. Who's the signatory on that safety deposit box, right? There's all these little, little things. You know, the safe at the house, that's great. Who's got the combination besides you? Right? Think about these things and, and, and take some proactive steps, not simple steps, just to make it easier because we can all be facing that. We've, if we've learned anything from 2020, just like that, right? We're swinging for the fences. We're hitting above our weight class. We're about to step into the ring and then boom, economy shuts down, world shuts down, people's health declines, people are dying, people are at risk. When's the last time you updated this? Have you even done it? And if you've done it, where is it? How easy is it for your loved ones to find? All right. If you have any additional questions, I know this is a heavy subject. Sorry. Chat at ashmorelawfirm.com. Hit me up at chat at ashmorelawfirm.com or a text to ashmorex2, just like it sounds, ashmorex2 to 47177. All right. God bless y'all.